I, I need to acknowledge that this probably has been one of the biggest areas of discouragement for me as I think about what we have made of the church with our divisions and bickering over, uh, it seems like, trivial things. We can e more easily see it in other groups than in ourselves. Uh, and I've wondered, I remember as a younger man studying Ephesians, really, and, and just feeling like, Lord, what has happened? What have we done? And, and feeling... Um, and and asking what are the what can be done and um, it does seem like the fragmentation is something that I don't know I don't know how to undo I don't know that I have the bigger answers but it has led me to a number of personal things that I've purposed and uh, one of them is that I don't ever want to be a person around whom believers gather against other believers. That, that mm -hmm. I don't want to be a part or, and, and particularly leading some kind of a division. Obviously, there has to be division between the church and the world, but between, um, between believers, just um, not encouraging that. Purposing also that I want personally to, to keep Jesus central so that people that I interact with are drawn toward Jesus, not necessarily toward a particular idea or practice or whatever. And again, ideas are important, practices are important, but but we easily start losing the centrality of Jesus when we're, we're focusing too much on those things. And um, also then uh, another kind of personal purpose is wherever I see a person experiencing Jesus or pursuing Jesus, encouraging that, not looking at the ways in which they're not, but but looking at the at the the ways in which I can encourage. And that's when I interact with neighbors, when I interact with uh, people from other groups or whatever. If 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 they are focused on Jesus, encouraging that and and participating in that, um, because that's that's where our our real unity is is going to lie. Mm-hmm.